Hey everyone, it's Jen. I'm back with a 12 by 12 process video. I'm using the new Amy Tan Finders Keepers collection, which is so much fun. I love the colors. Um, it's just really fresh. I just love it. I love the, the patterns and everything is just a lot of fun and colorful. And what I really like about it is that a lot of my kids' photos have lots of bright, bright, bold colors like this. So it's like perfect for my layouts. Um, I'm just picking that pink polka dot paper and then it looks like watercolor hearts. It's like pink and orange with some black hearts on it. It's really, really pretty. And that photo has an orange wall in the background. I've had this photo for a year now. My daughter was turning four and we went to Monkey Joe's to have her birthday party. And so everything in there is just super colorful and bright, but then I ended up not liking the orange. The orange walls were bugging me. So I just um, went into my photo editor and I changed it to black and white. And then I made everybody in the photo, um, I made them color. So like me, my daughter, my best friend, she's pregnant and her son. And sh her shirt is like a Google Plus t-shirt and it says plus one on the on the belly bump it's so cute but anyway so I left the, everything else in color and I'm just looking for some ephemera and I took a cut apart sheet and that says celebrate good times because it's my daughter's birthday and then I have the camera ephemera camera die cut and then this thing that says hello my name is oh how fun and I'm just taking some rub-ons um, those are just some x's and um, so I stitched around the pink paper and um, I put a, a yellow border strip at the bottom and that today um, little card that I'm going to journal on that and I'm going to tuck that behind the photo and that's going to bring in the yellow from the bottom and there's lots of blue well there's like my daughter's dress is like a navy blue and pink polka dot and then my my friend's shirt is black and blue so um I wanted to bring in some of that blue from there, from the photo. So I have green and blue. Actually, every single color is like pretty much on this layout. So um, yeah, so I have greens and blues and um, let's see. So yeah, I, ha I wanted to tie in some of that yellow from the bottom to the top. I'm just gonna staple down those balloons. They're so cute. It's just an acetate piece of balloons, um, acetate piece. And then um, I have some gold there, like a gold heart. And let's see, I'm just gonna stick those on there. So yeah, the colors really matched with the with the photo before I made it black and white. But um, so now there isn't really any orange in the photo, but I still I still love this paper. So um, I'm sticking up some washi down there. Just I mean up at the top, just to bring in some of the blue from the bottom because I stuck a strip. I took a strip of that paper. It's really cool. I love the pattern on that. I'm layering another strip of washi and eventually I move that so that it's kind of like going at a di diagonal, diagonal. So I'm putting some washi down at the bottom. I place a, I take a blue strip. It's really cute. It has like white polka dots or white, it's a, a white polka dot pattern. And then I take the brown piece with the gold XOXO on that and I lay the, layer that on top. So now I'm just taking some Heidi, Heidi Swap Color Shine in blue. Is it blue or green? Um, it's in teal. And then I did my journaling in there and the tag and then I'm using my archival ink and I'm stamping a few sketchy hearts. This is from her stamp set as well. Um, and then I do some sketchy hearts up at the top corner on the right. Sorry, the camera angle is like really bad. I'm like not even in the shot like most of the time. Um, so I'm taking that gold piece and then I'm just gonna put that up there and I stamped hello as well. And I'm just lifting up the edges of the papers. I really love that look. 
and um, what else do I do? I placed some puffy hearts. I sprinkled that around some in some places and I was trying to figure out if I wanted like either another flare or something from my stash, but I ended up not using that. So that wraps up this short process video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day.